Hello and welcome to this tutorial about getting started with Google Cloud Platform for uh, deploying uh, cloud resources. This is a um, two video series in which uh, we will first get uh, you up and running with a, a Google Cloud uh, account and organization that you can firstly use um, with um, the console, the Google Cloud console. And uh, then you can also use that with the CLI, as well as with uh, an infrastructure as code uh, uh, medium like uh, Pulumi, uh, which I totally recommend. And uh, um, the CLI and uh, the Pulumi setup will be the subject of uh, uh, the next video, which uh, I recommend uh, you uh, don't lose. Uh, so, uh, if you're interested, uh, hit subscribe, hit the bell uh, notification icon, and uh, let's get uh, to the video. So, before diving into the process, uh, let me show you another diagram that um, covers the steps, uh, uh, the detailed steps we will. Uh, go through um, in the rest of the video. So we will first start by creating a, a Google Cloud Platform account using a, a regular Gmail account. Then uh, Google will um, suggest that we create uh, a Google Cloud Identity profile that basically is an organizational profile ready to be used with the, the Google Cloud uh, uh, service ecosystem. And this will be linked uh, to uh, our organization domain um, that we will need, of course, to verify um, the ownership. And uh, finally, uh, in the last part of the video, we will be creating a second user account different from the root uh, Google Cloud Identity uh, account that we will uh, elevate to all the admin privileges. So there are three um, accounts involved here. The first account uh, is a Gmail uh, email address we use uh, for the first part. Then we create uh, a root uh, um, Google Cloud Identity account uh, like uh, GCP admin at uh, mydomain.com and then for security reasons we create a second organizational account that we will use in our day-by-day -day operations that can be like john at myorganization.com assuming your name is john and again that will be the final step and the account that we will actually use because it's a security best practice, uh, as you may know, that uh, you don't use uh, the root uh, account uh, to perform day-by-day -day operations. So let's get started by visiting uh, the Google Cloud Platform homepage at cloud.google.com. And as you can see here, there is a $300 free credit uh, that Google is currently offering, which uh, can be used in a three months time frame. Let's click on um, Get Started for Free to start our account creation process. And the first step is to insert your account information, so the country, the size of your organization, to accept the terms of services. And again, uh, uh, Google ensures no auto charge uh, after the free trial. Uh, next, there is the identity verification. So you are required to insert um, te uh, a telephone number and you will uh, hit on send code. We'll, and uh, then you have to insert the um, verification code that you receive So just do that and hit on Verify. In this final step, you just need to insert all the uh, information about your organization, if you're a business or uh, about yourself, if you're an individual. 
Mm, so I'm going to skip this because these are just uh, confidential information. You also have to indicate who is the primary contact person for your account. And finally, you just click on add credit or debit card and insert the information of your credit card. And finally, you click on start free trial. And now after some loading, you will, uh, you might be uh, required to uh, verify uh, your uh, credit card information via your credit card issuer. So basically you might have to approve this um, zero dollars transaction uh, in your uh, card issuer mobile application. And once you've done, you will need to proceed to verification. And the verification basically means you have to upload a photo of uh, your um, credit card as well as of an ID document. So just hit on submit and then you will need to log back in using your uh, Gmail account. And as you can see now, in a few seconds, you will be redirected to your billing homepage where uh, uh, there is a, this uh, red box saying that your account is, uh, uh, your billing account is uh, under approval, but this is a state that uh, usually lasts uh, just a few minutes. Uh, and you can, of course, uh, proceed with uh, our process uh, while your billing account uh, gets uh, approved. So we have basically completed our first step of creating our base GCP account that uh, will be the basis uh, of, for, for the creation of, of our organizational Google Cloud Identity account. Uh, we will first create our root account for our organization and then we will link a domain and uh, after that we will create a second organizational user with admin privileges. So let's get to the second step. First of all, let's visit our console homepage at console.cloud.google.com and uh, open the left panel and under IAM and admin, we need to select identity and organization, then click on go to the checklist. And here is the checklist that is basically a list of recommended tasks that um, Google invites you to perform in order to uh, completely set up uh, an organizational up and running GCP account. Uh, we won't go over all of them, but um, we will cover uh, just uh, the first four tasks that um, I considered um, the essential ones to get started, especially if you are just a, a single person business or a small business. And uh, so let's get to the first one. So just click on uh, begin the setup and then scroll down and click on sign up for cloud identity. And now we basically need to, to um, insert some um, basic information about our business, the business location and a business email address. Here is important that you use uh, um, a domain, uh, an email domain that is um, the same domain you will associate to your GCP account. So it should be your main organization domain, the one in which you have your business website, if you have one. So now just insert that email and click on next. And here, in fact, you have Google asking you for your um, business domain um, and uh, for confirmation that we want to use this to set up our account. Next, provide your first and last name. Hit on next. 
and provide the root account username. So your, uh, your root administrative account for GCP will be, in this case, info at your domain and a password. Click on next, provide uh, a recovery um, email address if you want. Yes, it is mandatory. So you need to insert one, click on next. These are optional settings. You can uh, safely say no thanks, I guess. Let's confirm we're not a robot. Agree and create an account. And now we're basically done with this first part. So we now need to uh, log in with our newly created account. Accept the terms of services. And here we are in our admin console, but now using our new organization account. And now it asks to uh, verify, first of all, the domain that we associated to our organization. So we now click verify. And we basically need to uh, visit our um, domain registrar and add uh, a txt DNS record with uh, a certain string that Google will provide us with. And here it is. The string is this Google Site Verifications uh, uh, string uh, at the top. And uh, uh, yeah, we need to... Um, it suggests that our domain registrar is, uh, in my case, Porkban. So now I visit my Porkban administrative console, hit on the domain I need to manage and on DNS records. And here I can select a new type of record that is a TXT. Uh, the answer must be equal to the string that Google provided us. And I can add optionally a note about what the, this uh, record is all about. So in this case, I am writing the Google Cloud Domain verif Verification. I click on Add, and it's done. I have added my new um, record. So I come back to my verification process and hit on Verify My Domain. After a few seconds, it should be okay with our DNS configuration. And that's it for the domain verification. The next step uh, is not to create a new user right now. As Google suggests, uh, we just click on set up GCP cloud console now, and we will create a new user in uh, um, a later step as a step of our uh, configuration um, of our GCP configuration checklist. So here is our welcome pop-up. We have to accept the terms of services once again with our new user. Agree and continue. And our organization is uh, um, ready. So we now click on uh, go to the checklist. And if uh, for some reason, uh, like in this case, uh, it says authentication error, it's just because your browser is messing up between uh, the previous Gmail account and the new one. So just log back in with your organization uh, uh, account, uh, um, the password, and then uh, 
you see it suggests that you continue by creating a new Chrome profile that is dedicated to this account. I accepted this just to prevent uh, that this problem occurs again. Um, and so here we are with um, our checklist with the first item completed and we now click on continue to step two that regards users and groups. Um, so in this uh, task, we need to uh, create a secondary user that we will use instead of the root organizational account we have already created for our day-by-day -day operations. So click on go to the Google Admin Console to add this uh, second user. And here is the user management page. So we have our first user, John Smith, and we can click on add new user, insert a first name, John Smith, the account with our organization domain and add new user. We can click on done. And here we are presented with a default password, uh, which uh, we should take note of and copy in some place. So now let's get back to our checklist um, and we can click on continue. And we now have the possibility to create uh, all the default user groups uh, that uh, uh, Google proposes um, to manage a typical organization. So there is a, an admin user group, a billing administrator group, network admins, and so forth. So we accept to create these default groups and we also add our second uh, user we've just created to each one of these groups in the way you are seeing so that the number of members will be um, of two members at the end of this uh, process. So just do this for all of the six groups. And mark task as completed. Once you've finished, continue to administrative access. So what uh, uh, Google suggests here um, is to uh, give uh, um, the different user groups we've just created uh, the relevant administrative privileges based on the nature of the group. So in this case, uh, you uh, can grant access as a, an administrator to either the admin group we've just created, that is, this case is the GCP organization admin at your domain, or a single user like I'm doing here. Uh, Google suggests, and you probably should give uh, all the privileges to the groups, the user groups we've just created, you will see me give the same privileges just to the single user we've just created. Uh, in my case, it's the same because I'm not planning uh, to have more users on this account, but in your case, it might be better that you, um, as uh, uh, for the instructions Google is giving a copy, uh, the group name and give uh, the new privileges to the group that the user is part of. And so these privileges will be uh, given in any case also to uh, the uh, second user that will be the main one you will use for your operations. 
So now I'm clicking on the grant access and I type the name of the user. In your case, you will paste the name of the group and just click on save at the bottom of uh, this page. So we have updated our policies and we can now hit on continue and we will do a, a similar thing for the billing administrator access. So again, you will copy the GCP billing admins group. I am pasting instead the user and hit on continue and mark this task as completed. Now, again, regarding billing, this step uh, allows us to create a uh, Google billing account that will be necessary, especially after our trial ends, if we need to pay for some um, resources. So create an online billing account and hit on create billing account. And I will now skip this part because it is identical to what we have already done at the beginning, uh, configuring our billing account for our base Gmail account. But now we're doing this for our organization account. And once we've finished, we have our welcome message. Uh, so we're done with this step as well. We can answer to this brief survey and hit on next. Also answer the last two questions. And then click on done. And we're really done with uh, also our billing uh, configuration. So we can come back to our checklist and hit on continue to step four. and mark the task as completed because we have already set our billing information and created our billing account. Continue to resource hierarchy. Um, and uh, basically this one and the following steps uh, can be considered uh, really optional and needed just for a bigger organization. That's why I'm just uh, uh, going to mark uh, this task has completed at the top of the page. The same uh, is for the additional uh, um, admin groups privileges we might want to set. Um, but again, I'm just marking this task as completed because uh, I'm assuming you are a single developer or a very small company in this tutorial, but you are free to uh, read uh, what Google is proposing you to do and uh, mm, and perform these operations as well. Um, this step is about setting up the monitoring and logging. So you might be more interested about this. So feel free again to read through how to set up proper uh, logging for your resources. Then there is the security admin group if you plan to have one. Again, I'm not, so I have just marked this task as completed as well. And the last step is uh, um, optionally selecting uh, and purchasing a, a support plan um, from Google. Again, mark this task as completed. Great, we're now finished with our checklist and we can log in with our second user we've just created and we insert the password we had noted down. And we are now logged in and can go to our console with our new user. So basically that's it for this video because we are up and running with our account. We can at the top of the page see that select a project uh, drop down in which we have our main organization and a my first project default project that GCP has created for us. So that's it for this uh, quite long video on fully setting up our GCP account 
to work uh, uh, for now through the um, Google Cloud Platform console, uh, so via the GUI. There is a companion article for this um, video, I'll put the link in the description. And in the next video of this series, we will set up uh, the Google Cloud CLI with this uh, newly created account and also uh, the uh, Pulumi infrastructure as code framework uh, in order for it to um, be able to control uh, and deploy new resources uh, for your uh, account. Pulumi is a great tool if you don't know about it that will be um, an opportunity to do so. And um, I am also planning to um, launch a course on uh, Pulumi and uh, GCP. So stay tuned, visit us website artcoded.net and sign up in our homepage uh, for our newsletter to stay uh, tuned. Of course, subscribe to our channel and like this video to support uh, our work. Uh, see you in the next video.